Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the 18th annual Derby City Classic. This is a nine-day event. We're into day number seven. Actually, it's day number eight. And uh, to borrow a line from uh, Eric Clapton, it's after midnight. We're going to find out what it's all about. This is the second of the three main events. It's one pocket. We started with 375 of the world's greatest one pocket players. We're down to the two finalists. Our first gentleman is sponsored on tour by Longoni Cues. Cecchio, player representative for Kamui Tips. He's a member of Europe's Moscone Cup team. Four times he has been voted the MVP in the Moscone Cup. Former WPA World Nine Ball champion, former winner here at the Derby City Classic. Please welcome from The Hague in Holland, known as the Terminator, Mr. Niels Fahan, please. Thank you. Alex, how did you get into the finals? Who'd you beat? You don't know. <laughs> we were down to three people when Alex caught the bye to get into the finals. I think we ought to take the bye money and go shoot craps with it later. All right. Okay, all right. All right. Our second player, sponsored on tour by Puyat Sports, player representative for Ariel Carmeli Cues, Les Spot, AlexPeggyLine.com. Ladies and gentlemen, he is our defending champion here at the Derby City Classic. Please welcome from the Republic of the Philippines, Alex the Lion, Pagulayan. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, you may lag for the first break. <laughs> Good luck. Mark, take it away. Akistats Video Productions presents from Elizabeth, Indiana at the Horseshoe Hotel and Casino, the 18th Annual Derby City Classic. Well, Danny, my good friend, Danny D. Liberto to my right, this is the finals of the One Pocket segment of the tournament, and it features Niels Feinen from the Netherlands, actually from Denmark. I asked you earlier, where was Denmark located? You told me northeast of Philadelphia. Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, I'm sorry, Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. That's right. Alex Pagulain, certainly no stranger to this arena in this event. Well, He's a, he is a former uh, world champion, one pocket player. He won it last year, along with the master of the table. Does it seem like a year ago? Seems like the next day. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah. He it's won a, last year, so it, he's reigning one pocket champion. This is a short race to three. Flying won the break for the first game, which could turn out to be a very, very important shot. Yeah, definitely. He broke the balls really well. There are three balls surrounding his pocket, all protected by the rack. So ver very quickly, Packy Lyon's going to be challenged with an opening shot. Well, what I can see, if the seven ball, let me have an overhead, please. If the seven ball does not pass into this pocket, he can then bank the one cross and bring the cue ball down here. I like just, if I could, I like just going here and taking a scratch, putting them right there. Doubled up, that's what I would do. You like that shot? I like that shot as well. Yeah. Most importantly, though, get the cue ball down there by the pocket. Yeah. And when we're talking about echelon players like the ones out there, the upper echelon players, the intentional is not a bad shot at all because it's easier for upper echelon players to make up a loss of a, of a ball. So, therefore, the big and the crucial part of this shot is positioning the cue ball down at the other end of the table. Yeah, he won't have anything. And that's exactly where he's going. Another excellent call by my good friend, but he still doesn't know where Denmark is, Danny DiLiberto. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> he moved to Denmark. He's well, originally from Holland. Now, Feynman says, hmm. What he's looking to do, and I do believe, is I have an overhead, please. What, what he's really looking to do, he's looking to take an intentional back by going into the stack like this. I believe that's what he was looking to do. It's, it's a good shot, but... It's going to kick to the side rail and then into the stack. 
Well, I hope he's not trying to get away without scratching, because that could be disaster. Take the scratch. He is. And he pinned it down perfectly. Well, you know what? what's wrong with that shot? Is that Pagalion can now come off the eight ball and put him right back where Finan shot from. You're right. Good speed. <laughs> Niels doesn't have a ball out shootable. So now he's on one scratch. Here's a shot I like. I like to have it overhead. If, if it's possible for, for Finan to thinly cut the 13 ball and carry him off the 8 ball, setting the cue ball over here, I kind of like that shot, but he has to make sure that he hits the 8 ball, not the 9 ball. That's what he's doing, I believe. He made the ball. Well, he made the five ball. I think Peggy Lyon should have taken a look at that yeah. before, he, before he chose to shoot off the eight ball. But maybe shooting off the eight ball, he moved the five ball to that position. Yeah, he could have. You know, I didn't see a dead ball before that. Cue ball's positioned very closely to the rail, Danny. This combination is makeable but it's not like a gimme. I like it off of the 14 ball instead of the combination. But he made it look easy. I got a question to ask you, Danny. Do you cut the 14 in and go into the stack and open up some balls Softly, there? Softly, but don't forget, he's got another ball that goes for 13 passes. I would just run all the loose balls first. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I think that's an excellent choice. If he can run yeah. all the loose balls... There's five balls loose. Yeah, if he can run all the loose balls, he'll be on the hill. And I'm sure during during that journey running all the loose balls, he may just find an angle off of a ball to open up another ball out of the stack to conclude the, uh, the run. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he... Don't get impatient and try to hit the pile. You know, it could it could turn out bad. Yeah, he knows enough to run the balls that are loose. He does. Because you you could have gone into the pile and stuck there, and then you could only cinch one more ball. Get the rest of the balls that are loose. There's four of them. He's a player. That's an know. excellent point. Had you only had two loose balls, then perhaps he could have went into the stack. Right. Like you said, this is going to get him on the hill. And winning this first game is so huge, especially in a short race to three, and especially if you won the opportunity to open up the match with the break. Billy, I'm not sure the eight doesn't go also. See it? Yeah, the, the eight may go. Let's get a ball count. There are three, six, nine, eleven balls on the table. He's playing for four. Yeah. He would like to play for the 13, with the angle to drop onto the one, and then if the eight goes, play the eight as his last ball. Yeah. It is a... But I think he has... Minus, minus one ball. Yeah, he owed one before he started shooting, so he, he won't be on the hill if he gets all the loose balls. Now, he's going to be able to pocket the, uh, I believe, a 13. He's going to go into the nine. Now, he would like to hit the top of the nine, playing safe for the 13. Is that right? Like playing safe for the eight. Is that yeah, right, Danny? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know what kind of a breakout he's going to get. You don't have to hit it hard. I wouldn't hit it hard. Because you'd be helping uh, your opponent. Oh, he's going to shoot it hard, I'm afraid. No, here's what he did, though. The 14 ball came in front of the 8 ball, precluding him from pocketing the 8. Now, he has a bank on the 2, which I'm sure he likes, because after pocketing the 2, providing that he can put it down, he'll then have another bank on the 4 ball. 
He's got five right now. There are six balls off the table. He owed one. That gives him a, he's plus five. Now, the bank on the two ball is marginal because of the position of the four. It may go long, but I think it's worth shooting anyways. You can position he's it close it, yeah. to the pocket. Like I said, if he's able to put this down, he'll have another bank on the four with position for the one. He did. Now he'll have a bank on the four. That carries natural position for the one. And that's all what he needs. He needs two balls. Well, he doesn't want to shoot the four. I mean, there's not a dead one, is there? What's stopping him? Oh, you got to shoot the four. He doesn't want to shoot the four, Billy. Uh, I don't. I don't understand why not. I mean, this is the type it's of a free. shot. Yeah. Not only is it free, this is a game winner unless the four doesn't go. You know, the four may not go. Yeah, but it'll be at least. No, he's not shooting it because it don't go. Oh, I don't believe that. Well, we'll never know now. I thought it went. I, I thought it went uh, as well, but evidently it must not have gone. Uh, it must not have had the uh, the angle and the path to reach to the pocket. Six to nothing. Finding. You know, two rail around the five and go all the way upstream. He has that, but does he need it? Six to You're nothing. Right, he doesn't. You know what I mean? It's six to nothing, so you may leave a return bank, open up those balls, and possibly make a ball inadvertently into yeah. your pocket and then he'll steal the game. Yeah. I think his priority at this point should be getting balls out of play. You're right, because the 9 and the 8 go in Pagalion's pocket. You're right. Well, he's looking to bank the 1. I would just go ahead and come off yeah. the 3 with some speed and draw the cue ball. I wouldn't be shooting at my pocket now because you're playing one of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous, player in the world. Now, this is the two-rail two, two rail shot Danny was alluding to. I think it's a, it's a pretty decent shot, but you don't need it. See, now, Pagan Lyon has a shot on the eight ball here, if he wants to take it. He might. You know, he, he could be desperate enough. He's looking at it. Of course, he, his expression says, I don't like it, but he's not supposed to like it. But, you know what? It could be a real big ball if he puts it down. He's shooting it. He's going to shoot it. He understands all that stuff. And if you if you want to, you know, you really don't want to challenge this guy with a shot because he's such an excellent shot maker. And uh, he holds up so well. You really don't want to challenge this guy no, with a missed. shot. Look at that. He would have had the nine. Yeah, he would have been in real good shape. That's why I didn't like. Of course, Finan really didn't hit the five ball that good. The cue ball's not supposed to end up where it did, giving a bag of line that type of a shot. But uh, e even then, I still don't like the shot on the five. I like getting balls out of play, playing a truly upper echelon player like Bag of Lion. Got a shot on the four. He's going to hit the one. Well, just make sure you pocket the ball. Forget about anything else that I'm talking about. 100% ball, ball pocket. That's it. No cue ball. 100%. He didn't make 100 it. 100% pocketing the ball. Forget about anything else. Okay, now if Pagan Lion can, can somehow manage that cue ball, come up with a shot on that nine and open up those three balls that are beside the nine. He's got a legitimate chance to do some damage here. Do you do that, or do you try to play shape for the five or the one, uh, Danny? No, I th you go to the nine right now. 
Yeah, all those other balls pass too, but get the nine out of there. That's the shortest route. He's That's going what he's to, done. And he figures to get a shot from those three balls next to the nine. No. What I see right here, Danny, is he's going to have to draw the cue ball. He may not get much movement with the, off that 11, possibly. He may end up with a stiff shot with the 11-7. Uh, so let's see what happens here. I don't think he has to draw the ball. I think it's glancing. He's going to open it. He'll have at least the six. If he, if he draws the ball, he'll get a shot on the three. I think the six is the best. Yeah, shot. what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, he's got gonna, the three. Yeah, what, what I was saying is the 11 wasn't going to get much movement, and that's exactly what happened, so he wasn't able to open up the balls. Now this shot has to be hit precise. He's got to nip that 11 ball. This is a difficult shot. But not for a guy like this. <laughs> what a shot. You, it's shots that, like that shot there that, that are seemingly unnoticed that carry so much value. And for a player to be able to do that as consistently as Pagalion does it, well, that's really remarkable. That's why he is the defending champion here. He's going to come up with a nice angle on the 11 to go cross table and play position well, he's going to steal. He's going to steal this game from playing. I like going three cushions around. Three cushions oh, yeah, around. You can't go one. I you like three. Three. All right, he'll be one. Around. Two, three. If he ends up on that fourteen, he got on them all. Okay. Now this is where you get paid off for your excellent shot making ability, and Paga Lion certainly has that. Nicely done. If he needed all the balls, he would have gotten them. Does he, does he need all the balls? I, I just think he needs one. No, I think he needs two. He needs two? I say I'm not sure. Yeah, on, on, yeah. well, the score, the score is uh, six balls for Finan. Finan has six. Pagaline has seven. Playing for match, or excuse me, for game ball. And I hate to be redundant and go back to that five ball shot, but you people out there and at home that have watched this first game, now you know what we're talking about. When you have a, a big lead, especially on an upper echelon player, if at all possible, get balls out of play. Because if you don't, oh my, oh, man, oh my, right. he jumped. He jumped, jumped. Badly. he jumped. Well, Fian has to play position for the five ball. I kind of like doing it right now off the two. I like cutting the two into the four. That carries natural position for the five. I like that shot a bunch. I think he should play the two into the four. That carries natural position for the five. And he's going to steal this game back. Or the eight into the four, whatever that ball is. Oh, my, he missed it. Oh, yeah. wow. These guys have been very generous in this first game. Very generous. Hey, he only needed two. Alex has to give him the four now. No, I, he only needed two? Yeah. Oh, I thought he needed a three. He needed two. Wow, then maybe he did play the wrong shot. Well, Alex got to give him the two. Yeah, well, he's definitely got to give him the four. He's got to give him the four here, that's right. I'll just go ahead and go real first Trickle. softly. Oh, I don't know about that. Go right at the ball. Yeah, rail. Well, I would have went rail first. That would have sent the cue ball closer under the eight. Now he's left him a, a cross corner bank. I was kind of. Oh, a, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. he left it, but it, no yeah. bargain. Yeah, well, he, he wouldn't have had it if he would have went rail first. I don't believe. 
You know, you don't really got to go ahead and twist this ball. You got to hit it with a little speed here. Yeah, you need a little bit of right hand English. That's a good. That's good speed. It came up. It came up. He's left him a shot on the five. Yeah. And I, bel I don't know if he can hold the cue ball if he happens to miss it. No, I think it's a sellout if he misses. Hmm. It's a big angle going into that rail. He's going to sell out if he misses. So he's playing the cue ball three rails around the table. Yeah. He's playing his wallet, Billy. Oh, look, he got away with the sort of... You know, he didn't even come close to pocketing that no, ball. No, no, I got to kick the eight in. Yeah, that's not a bad shot, Danny. It's, it's this game ball, Billy. Yeah, it's not a bad shot, but I really wouldn't argue the point of banking the five either. Because if you bank the five and get anywhere near that pocket, Paggy Lyons going to have some big, big problems here. Good shot. Well, game number one, and what an eventful game game number one was, goes to find and who now leads in a race to three, one to nothing, and this is the championship match. Well, Alex missed a couple balls that, that game. The one he was supposed to make. The pie was debatable, but the one he was supposed to make. However, that's gone forever. In the 17th uh, Derby City Classic, when Paggy Lyon was at the table, he made every ball he was supposed to make and, more. and then some. So it was very, very surprising and unexpected to see him miss the shot in the one ball. Yeah, he was perfect. And like I said, it was very important for finding to win the game number one because he won the lag and was had the opportunity to open up the balls. And winning the first game of a, of a short race to three with the break is huge because now, Paggy Lyon, if he goes on to win this match, it most likely will go to double hill with finding and breaking the balls. But, I don't want to put the horse before the cart, Paggy Lyon has to start playing a little bit better so he can get to that point. And he's, he's really forced to do that too, drilling one to nothing. He's got to win two out of the next three games to go double hill. I think he let him see the 14. Yeah, I think he can see the 14, Billy. Yeah, but it's pretty tricky. Even if he can see it, he really can't afford to hit it with speed. No, cut it and let the cue ball go up towards that 12. Yeah, that's an out, but that requires a real good hit, too. Well, let's see. You know, so it's not that easy of a shot. Now he's going to take a look at it. He's, he's going to make a determination at this point whether it's worth shooting or not. Because it looks like a tricky little shot to me. Okay, he's going to shoot the 14 and try to bank it toward the 7 softly. Yeah, he went right at the 12, like I said, but he didn't, he didn't get the 7 scoreable. Now, Paggy Lyon's going to look at a cut on the 10 ball here. Oh, by the way, that's the 6, Billy. Okay, Paggy Lyon's going to look at a cut on the, t on the 10 ball here. You know, it's the type of a shot that he figures he hit well because he cuts balls very, very well, thinly. Yeah, he made that, and they opened up like an umbrella. That's why it was so important for uh, Finan to make the right choice on that opening shot. But that shot he shot looked a little tricky. He hit it too hard, Danny. Yeah. Yeah, they open good. 
Yeah, I think he would like to come up and hit the two here. Yeah, he'll have the uh, seven if he does that. If he does that. Yeah. He does that. Now he would like to get on that 14 or eight. But, of course, you're going to have to shoot the, uh, the seven and the four first. And then figure out a way to do it off of those two balls. He can't do it now. He would like to play position on the 14 and 8 off the blue 2. To do that, he's going to have to attain the right angle on the 2, Danny. Well, he can do it with the 11, too. Not now. I mean, ball on the 2, shoot the 2, and on the 11, right. go, go to those balls. Exactly. He can do that. He can do either way. He can go 4-ball, four, four 11-2, or 4-2-11. Okay, he's going 4 to 11, and he wants to end up with an angle like Danny said off the 11 to go cross table and drop nicely for the 14. I believe it's the 14 or the 12. No, I think it's the 14. You got the angle, he's, got he's the going angle. to the 14. Now, you want to stay high on the 14, but that ball that's positioned next to the side pocket, I believe it's a 13, may create a little bit of a problem for him to stay high. Let's see how well he manages here. That's beautiful speed. Mm. He's perfect. He's, He's on perfect. The rail. He's perfect. He's going to probably have to shoot the 8 here. He doesn't like shooting the 8. He didn't play for the 8, he played for the 14 or the 12. Well, he got near the cushion, so he can't draw the ball. Or he could have got out. But now, I don't think you want to gamble. Does the 9 bank. I think he's going to hit the 7 uh, fa on the favorable side. Oh, he might hit it in the middle and get both of them. Yeah, he's got the 7. No, he's got nothing now. Nothing. I don't think you're right, Billy. I think he, he's got the seven. You think so? Yeah. Maybe I would so. say he's out. Oh, the monitor didn't look like he had it. Yeah, well, how does it look? Now it's gone. Game number two goes to Paddy Lyon. He wins game number two, now tying the matchup one game apiece. Finally, back at the table, opening up the balls for rack number three. Yeah, that's, that opening shot after the break was crucial for Finan to pick the correct shot and hit it with the correct speed. He may have picked the correct shot, but he didn't hit it with the speed that he needed to hit it with, and it cost him the game. Now he has to hold serve here. He has to break the balls and win this game. Or he blows his advantage of winning the first lag. Pretty good break. Actually, not much he can do other than take a scratch, and even then, that's not very good. If the seven ball was slightly off the rail, if he takes a scratch down the far corner, he can shoot that one seven combination because yeah. there's no risk to it. So therefore, he's got his problems here. That's what I thought he may do. Just go ahead and put the cue ball in the stack. Even though it's on the wrong side of the stack, I think he was forced to do it. There yeah. are times when you have to do to survive, what he did. Yes. Just to sur exactly. Just to survive. And he didn't like it because it was just like a, a no-win situation for Paggy Lion. But let's see if his strategy works out. Because now Finan has to control the cue ball. I think Fion has to kick at the side of the pile. That's what I like. You know, of course, he can draw off the 10 and put the cue ball. Let's have an overhead. I don't think he, I don't think this is the correct shot. It's can, not. Do we have an overhead, please? I think that he can shoot into the 10. 
and bring the cue ball and put it over here. If he can get the cue ball in this area right here, I think then he'll, he'll, he'll protect his position. Don't forget, that's where Pagan Line was when he shot this shot. So therefore, he didn't like where he was last time. No reason why he should like it the next time. So I think I would shoot off the 10 and try to put him back over there. And you can see on the monitor, he can do it with the bridge. He can protect both the 4 and the 7 by coming off the 10. I wish they were... I could hear what they were talking about because everybody's laughing and we're missing some laughs here, Billy. <laughs> now, I, I really, really do not like this shot. He can shoot the one into the... Well, he put, he put him back over there, which is not a bad idea, but I think he could have done it off the 10. Now, Alex can draw off the one and drop him under the four, and he's got that kind of control to be able to do that. And now's a good time to do it when there's not that many balls open. I think he can draw off the one and drop underneath the four. Tough shot, Billy. Very tough shot. But we're talking about a player that executes as well as anyone in the world. I think it's a tough shot, but I think it's there. Yeah, except for the four ball. It is a good shot, but the four could defeat him. Yep, well, you know, I, I think that if he, if, he, if he does something differently and opens up more balls, he's just creating more of a problem for himself. He's got to come off this one and try to drop under that four. Here he goes. you got to do it. And like I said before, he if anybody it. can do it, this guy can do it. He did it. Great shot. Well, fine, could bank at the three if he wants to. You know, that seven is sitting pretty big. I think he likes to bank on the four here. He's going to have to turn it. Well, he's playing the safety. Yeah, you know, he's going to go two rails to try to put him on the side of the pile again. I don't think he has the angle to do that. Oh, if he hits the four thin, I think he does. No, nah, I see, don't think let's so. See. He's trying that. Well, he at least snuck at him with it. Yeah, well. Now, Paggy Lyon can kick at the four off the bottom rail. He's an excellent kicker. That'll send the four toward the side pocket. Or he can put him under the four playing off the ten. He finally moved that four that was positioned very close to his pocket. I, I didn't like that because now he, he took some pressure off of Pagan Lion, moving it into a position that now is now was a good ball for either player. Now he's got to play a good cue ball here. He wants to put him back in the stack again. Let's see how well he does with this shot. Now he didn't want to do that. This is okay, but... Now Pagulain can kick at the four here. He wants to get that four on that side rail. Nope, he's still going underneath the four. Well, now he's going to wind up stuck on the side of the pile. Yep, if, if he can spin it there. I think he could. Let's see what he can do here. It's, it looks pretty close. Like, I don't know. From our vantage point, we really can't tell how he's angled on that four. He froze. If he's angled to the right of the four, fr frozen, he can't get to this. Side. He may have to. Let me have an overhead. There it is. See? Let's have an overhead, please. He may have to come off the six and go one, two, three, and into the stack this way, off the six. And he's underneath the four, frozen, 
favoring the lower side of the table. So see, he can't go into the stack here. He's going to take a scratch. He's going to he's gonna, he's gonna sell wallet. out. It cost him a ball and maybe the game. Yeah, Alex will punish him. Now, if the 10 is bankable here, I wouldn't be opposed to playing for the bank on the 10 here. You're right. That brings position, too. Right. If the 10 is bankable, you should take a look, over, look at the table now to see which ball he would rather bank, the 10 or the 4. I kind of like banking the 10, if it's possible. I think it is, Billy. And then he'll have position on the 4. He knows it. He's going to be banking the 10. Looks he like got he's, perfect. No, I think he's banking the four here. He's, he's gotten down too low to bank the ten. Yeah, you're right. The ten now is a sellout to the seven. But he could bank both balls one at a time. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea because he really can't play shape for the ten now. And playing shape for the 14, you really don't want to do that because you're going into the wrong side of the stack. If that's the 14. Or yeah, it's, it is. Okay. He could bank the 4, then bank the 10, if the 10 is even bankable. From our vantage point, it's hard to... to uh... Wow. He trickled it. He went wow. too far. He can cross it. Or he could stiffen it. Yeah, uh, maybe so. I think he's got either option. Stiffen it or cross it. He would like to stiffen it, like Danny said. That way he can bank the, uh, the seven next. Well, no harm. He didn't sell out anything. Fine's going to be kicking that ten away. Okay, now he's got to be really, really careful finding that is. Because if he kicks the ten away, he's going to leave a cross corner bank on the seven. I know. So he's going to probably have to figure out a way... To snooker peg line from the seven with the ten ball. He's going to have to hit this shot softly and try to put the cue ball behind the ten. Yeah. I don't think he's even thinking about that right now. I kind of like cutting the ten ball to the left softly and lay the cue ball behind the ten, which would then preclude peg lion from hitting the seven. And that's what he needs to do. Now, he's looking at it now. That's the shot. Kicking it, he may not get away with it. That's what you said. Oh, That's but he good. did. He did good. Yeah, he did good. He has to use that 10 to hide the 7. Because that's the big ball there. That's a, that's a possible game-winning ball for Paggy Lyon. Now, that's an excellent shot. Excellent shot. Uh-uh, that's no good. I'll tell you what, can I have an overhead, please? It's possible that he could shoot rail first here and just fall on the six leave him stiff on the ten he took a scratch that's a scratch back Lion now owes two. Peg Lion's got one good one. Let's keep that angle right there that we have on the camera. After that's the angle. Let me see. Is it possible for Finan to draw off the ten? and position the cue ball in the stack. Is it possible to do that? He would have to 
elevate and mass say it. Yeah, into the stack. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. That would be a good shot if he could... An overhead, please. Well, you if he could it. draw, shoot it this way, and draw the cue ball into the stack area, the 10 ball would then leave like that. If that's possible, that would be the best shot. That would be a good shot. I think he can do that. Yeah, I think he could too. But he doesn't know that exists, Billy. And maybe it's even laying so he don't have to draw it. And if that's the case, he's not going to get the movement off the 10 that he wants. So, hmm. Let's see what he does. That's not bad. He let them a bank on the seven, but it's not on. It's, it's a stiff banking. The Pagulian knows he can't pocket it. Yeah, but he could bank it two rails towards his pocket and put the cue ball on the side of the pile. Doesn't have to make it. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna go onto the side, bank this. That's the shot. Yes. Good shot. See, that's a big threat there now. And let's have an overhead. Now, this is crucial for all one pocket players. This shot is the correct shot with the cue ball, okay? This is a shot that all one pocket players must develop and put into their arsenal shots. Because he has the shot, that shot will get him out of trouble. Yeah, he can come off the two, but he's moving a, moving a ball that's very favorable for him, and really out of play. Well, he's going to be he's going to be probably put back in the stack again here. Yeah. Hang on, could or maybe even on the 2. He can either put him on the 2 or back in the stack. Whatever angle is conducive for I, one of the two things to happen, that's yeah, what I he'll do. I think he could do either, Billy. He's going back on the pile. Not hard enough. Yeah, he wanted to get him on the two, but like Danny said, it wasn't hard enough. Now he can kick at the seven, so he's out of the trap. Had he got him on the two, then he would have bigger problems than he had the last time he was at the table. But Paggy Line wasn't able to get him on the two, and he's left him a pretty good angle to kick at the six here. So oh, another scratch. scratch. Another scratch. Now he owes three. Wow. Going backwards. Match is tied one game apiece. In game number three, Peggy Line leads one to minus three. Is he going to take an intentional here? Wouldn't be bad, but I don't think he has to. I think he could fan the 13 enough. Oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah, if you hit it too full, you're going to leave a bank, but... Yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah. I well, think, he uh, could take a scratch. I think now. I would take an intentional before I would try that, because that's really a tough hit. I think he's going to shoot your shot, but I think it's... Now he's taking the intentional. Okay, now he must 
overhead, please. He must kick this time. He must kick one cushion right through Scott's elbow and then over there to the six. He hope, must shoot that shot now. I hope he doesn't shoot hard. I don't want him to hurt Scott's elbow. He must shoot that shot. You've got to leave the two where it is. That's such a big ball for you. If you come off the two, you're creating bigger problems for yourself. you got to go ahead and shoot the kick now. He's coming off the two, Billy. Okay, well, he's moving the two out of... The two's a big ball. He really shouldn't want to move it. Yeah, me he really it moves it. Yeah, well, I, I don't really agree with that shot. Looks like he's going to kick with some speed here, Danny. Hit the 11 ball. I think a lot of good stuff can happen here. But it's a scratch. He might have tied up the 7. Yeah, well, he's left him another kick, like I said before. Now he's got the same kick again. He's had this kick three times now, and he has yet to try to kick at it. He's got to make this kick now, because he's run out of he's run out of options to kick this ball. Fine, and oh, three balls. Uh-oh, he's got to be careful here. Oh, very nicely done. Very nicely done. Now Paggy Lyon's going to probably try something differently here. He may go up table here and put him, like, short of the one and maybe behind that three. See, now he has to look elsewhere. If he can thin the six with an overhead, please, if he can thin the six and come here, and then over here, that's the shot. Well, he, he didn't hit the six, which, which is also a good shot because he left him very awkward here from this position. Now, this is a very awkward angle Finan is looking at. Very, very difficult spot to get away from. You know what I think? I think he may have to kick at the nine here, Danny. This is the shot that I see he has. Can I have an overhead? I think he can kick at the nine, you know, and kick it with some speed to either make it or maybe it'll, it'll go, go behind the, the wall balls, the two and the four. But that is a good shot that can get him out of the trap. I don't know what he's doing here. I don't know if he can hit the one straight on. He may be looking to double bank the seven here. Yeah, he has that too. Nice oh, speed. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Oh, it backed up on him. Yeah. Well, you really have to uh, salute Finan for, for really, you know, is just grinding himself out of the trap. Not so much in a in, in a... You know, in a way that uh, he should have, but nevertheless, it looks like he's got the job done. Now, he wants to make sure that he, once he knocks that seven away, that he hits the nine. If he doesn't hit the nine, he may sell out a bank on that ten. So it's important for him to hit the nine, and that's not going to be easy, Dan. 
as you can see, the angle that he's confronted with here suggests to me that if he banks the seven, it's going to go to the left of the nine. No, it'll cut the nine right on the number. Let's see. It did it. Nicely executed shot. Now fine and for certain is out of the trap. And if I... I think that Fine actually has at least a neutral position, if not maybe a slightly hair of the best position. Paggy Lyon really had him on the ropes, but Paggy Lyon needs as minus one, and Finan is minus three. And this was on Finan's break. Now, this shot, see, he's got to be careful here, which he is. He's kicking again. Uh -oh. oh, he sold out. I don't know if he can pocket the I don't think he sold out. I don't think he can pocket anything. So, uh, he's quite fortunate to have uh, left the table without selling out a shot. As much as he hates to, I think I would knock that 14 away and freeze him on that uh, stripe next to it. Just knock it away and freeze him on that stripe. You're taking a ball away from this side of the table. That's a very big ball for Peggy Lyon. Just knock it away, freeze him on the, on the uh, 8 ball or on the 14. That's the good shot. Hey, where's this going, though? Well, he wasn't supposed to hit it that hard. No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't, you know, he was supposed to have uh, hit it with the speed for to make Pag and Lion go to the table and figure out a way to play a safe shot and not advance his position. He's got the 10, but it's not free, Billy. It's kind of free. Oh, you, you, you don't mind leaving him the 7? I think he can force it. I think he's leaving the seven. Uh, he's going to overcut it. Watch. See, he overcut it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going in the pocket. <laughs> well, he, he really butchered that shot. He butchered that. And I hate to say that. I really hate to say that about the world's best player. But I am. He butchered that shot. I think the players are now taking a break, and we'll take a break as well, and we'll be back when they get back. Okay, we're back. The players are back in the arena. Okay, let, he's got a pretty tempting shot here. Can I have an overhead? He's got a pretty tempting shot. It's a, it's a pretty high-risk shot, but if he can pull it off, I think he'll gain a uh, favorable position. He can combinate... The, the eight into the nine, or the 14, sending this ball across. The eight ball then goes up this way, and he can stick the cue ball right here. Okay, now that is a possible shot that he has there. He's opting to do something differently here. I don't know how much of the 14 he can see. Well, that'll certainly work out for him. Sure, he, he parked the ball pretty well. The only thing is, he doesn't have a ball that's a threat near his pocket. No, exactly. And, it's, Danny, it's so important, as you well know, to have a ball on that side of the table. Yeah. So that, that gives you a lot more options then. Gives you some security, too. Exactly. And, you know, and then you can kind of, like, give up a long real bank because the, uh, the threat of that ball on your side of the table will be clued your opponent from shooting one of those free banks because it's not free. Yeah, I, I kind of like going into the two here with some speed. And opening up those balls like so. Give me a overhead. I like 
shooting the two and bringing the cue ball over here, drawing it, opening up these balls, and maybe something will come up on your side, and leaving him over here off angle for this bank. Open up some balls because all balls favor Pagulion now, so you really got to rearrange the balls somewhat. What is he doing here? He's banking at the nine. Or oh, the it's a dumb shot. Dumb shot. But he's appended it. Yeah, he, well, he got away with it. Paggy Lyon hit the table in disgust, saying, oh, how could he shoot that shot? And then there was the cue ball cutting off all <laughs> options. And that's what he did. He cut off all options uh, for Paggy Lyon. It wasn't intended to work out that way, but fortunately for Fyan, it did. And it's like a little bit of a trap here, too, Danny. I know, he throws him on the uh, five. Yeah, and he could, if he comes off the five, he's going to end up on the wrong side of the stack. Now, this shot has to be hit perfectly. Watch the speed of the cue ball. This is a difficult shot to execute. Now, watch the speed of the cue ball. And the inside English. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, so that was a pretty fortunate result Fine and got off of his last attempt at the table. Now he's going to kick into the stripe, and this should work out fairly well for him, unless he hits the bottom of the balls. Well, it's a scratch. Well, That's another scratch. scratch. So Fine and now owes four balls. See, he hit that kick too low. He didn't want to hit the bottom of the stack. Now, Pagaline will shoot that shot you were talking about before. Yeah, same shot. Sending the cue ball into the stack. Well, he didn't get the two shootable, though. Yeah, he didn't get enough movement from the well, two. Well, he left the bank now. I don't think he can hit the two. No, I mean, doesn't Fyan have a bank at the seven? He's not even looking that way. Yeah, he should because uh, he banked the eye the last time. Unless he's afraid to, yeah, he's not even looking that way, Danny, you're right. Yeah, he's passing up a great opportunity here. I don't know, sometimes, you know, we get like, you know, too, too focused on a certain right. thing, and we don't even look at other you're, options. You're not aware of the other options, right. that's all. I've been guilty of that a lot, you know, and, uh, but Fyan, he should have really taken a look at the shot Danny said. He had an excellent bank on the seven ball, and he had the five and the nine to protect the seven ball if it didn't fall. And if it did fall, he had a great opportunity to it's get position. himself some balls. That was a, that was a great shot that he actually... Overlooked. Yeah. Now, Paggy Lyon doesn't want to put him back there again. You know? Well, he might see it next time. Yeah, right. Yeah, because Paggy Lyon saw it. So that's why I so say he's going to make sure he doesn't give him that angle again. Because this time, Fyan might just stumble across it. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that. I'm sorry. Is he looking? No, he couldn't be looking at that shot, could he? Eight into the ten. Ten goes cross corner. That's going to go high. Yeah, but what's the other ball going to do? I don't think that. I, I I think he's going to be safe with that. Oh, he's, he's going to. Is it? Doesn't it hit the fifteen too? Uh, I think he's going to be safe with this shot. Let's see. It hit the fifteen too. Oh, he's he got lucky. He could have sold out. Really. I think that. Uh, he may be able to spin that 
14 in, Peggy Lyon is laughing, and it's a disgust laugh. It's not like a real belly laugh or a friendly laugh. It's a laugh of disgust. Like, how do you do these things? And you know they're technically wrong, but yet you get away with these things. Yes, he does. uh what accent is that? I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a disgust accent. Oh, he's got a bank at the seven here. Now that's hit pretty good. Yeah, a little wide. Yeah, but it was hit pretty good. He controlled that cue ball. Good speed. Good speed. He controlled that cue ball nicely. Well, that ball won't be there anymore. Now he's got to be careful here because he can lose the cue ball on this shot. He's going to be shooting a little bit over the three here, or maybe he'll be able to bridge it comfortably in between the three one. Oh, he's all right there, but he still he has to control the cue ball on this shot. Can't allow the cue ball to get away from him here. Lot a lot of distance in between the seven and the cue ball. Requires a very accurate hit. I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, Alex doesn't have anything aggressive. Nope. He's got to be careful here, Alex, that is, because if he, if he opts to come off that stripe that he's in back of, he runs the risk of selling out some sort of a bank. Yeah, he might leave a bank on the two. He hits a two. Good shot. Oh, I don't know. Very good speed. Very good speed. Yeah, I guess he didn't leave a hit on the 14, did he? No. Oh, that's the 15. <laughs> okay, let me have an overhead uh, real quick. You know, he can come off of this ball here, send the cue ball away, open up those three balls there. You know, he could have opened up those balls. Because as, as you can see, the seven precludes balls being pocketed in his pocket. Watch out. Wow, he that's caught not the, what he wanted uh, to point. do. He was trying to go into the pile. Yes, he was. but, but uh, he, he caught the point. Yes, yeah, exactly what happened. But this is the, this is the part of the game that you really got to be careful. You know, even though, you, even though both players want to... Uh, sort of trap their opponent you know the way the balls are configured it's difficult to do that in a, in a little mistake an inch or a half an inch off of your target could cost you the match or the game or the match so I, I would recommend to do something simple Just wait for an opening. Now keep in mind now, like I said before, with an overhead, please. Keep in mind, this ball, had it been moved out of there, opened up these two balls, but it didn't. Now Paggy Lion can shoot at a bank now. Like oh, this is. one. Shooting at the seven. See, now if those balls were moved, he couldn't have done that. You know, it didn't work out well for Pagalion that time, but maybe next time it will. So finally, he's got to understand that he's got to open up balls to his pocket when given an opportunity. Finally, Fine owes four balls, Danny, four. Pagalion owes three. Yeah, this is going to be a long game. 
Now, Fine does not want to give him a bank on the five. Because he just saw a peg in line bank seven. He doesn't want to give him a bank I'll on the five. You, he's going to give him a shot on the five. Oh, he's giving him a good shot. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's got a bank on the five. Yes, he does. And this is a, a better bank than he had last time. And this bank carries natural position for the seven. The cue ball should hit in front of the one. Now back to five. Now the cue ball will go down where the one is and probably just graze the one for position on the seven. He missed it. Yeah. He didn't threaten the pocket he at all. He had a natural angle there. I don't know what he was afraid of there. It looks like he tried to, you know, create something there as opposed to shooting it natural. Yeah. He's going to get sort of the worst of it now. Although Fion does not have a ball he could shoot at. He looks like he wants to bank the six into the stack. But controlling the cue ball seems to be a problem with that shot. He could very easily leave a good return bank with this shot. Oh, look at that shot. But he got really, really good results. Sometimes you get good results with a shot like that, and sometimes you don't. Well, you got it now. Two is a big threat. Where are you going to go, Pagulion? Well, Pagulion does know that the 7 2 combination isn't really a type of a shot that Fine will shoot. So maybe he can figure out some sort of a shot to advance his position and leave him that 7 2 combination. Yeah, but then he can leave possibly a kick at the two. You That's know. possible. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah. So he wants to. He wants to advance his position, and leave him that combination. Yeah. Now, now he's, he's a, a threat, kick, Billy. He's got a kick at the two. Yeah, but but you know, Danny, you kick so well, and that kick is there, but it's not free. You know. I think he'll get position if he makes it. Well, it's very possible he could. He's looking at it. He wants to shoot it, but he knows it's not free because you don't have to hit it good. And if you don't hit it good, you're going to take your chair for a while. Well, he knows he's not going to shoot the combination. That we know. I think he's getting ready to kick the two, Billy. I think he is, too. Well, he's going no, to leave it. Well, I don't know about this. I don't either. Okay, well, at least Peggy Lyon worked himself out of that jam temporarily. Right. But he's not out of it because he still needs to deal with the, with the two ball. And it's getting thin out there because he doesn't have very many opportunities to deal with it. Now, the eight ball that Peggy Lyon shot down table now becomes a detriment. Because not only does he get guy that have to get rid of the two, he has to defend against the cross corner bank on the eight. So he's looking for something simple. If it's there, maybe cut the three into the one, maybe, and position the cue ball back where it is now. That's a good shot. At least makes him live for another day. Oh, I don't know about this. He let them straight in. Might have. He left them straight in. Yep. You can bet on that. He's going to shoot this shot. Now, the two blocks up tiny portion of the pocket, but not much. He's still shooting into a fairly large pocket. He's got he, a full, full pocket, Billy. He's got to go for this. Yeah. I, I, I'd be surprised 
to see him not go for the one ball. Yeah, he's going to. You know, he's got to hit this softly. Yeah, he's got to hit this softly to try to control the cue ball for a shot on the two if he happens to put the one down. He put it down all right. No, he didn't. Look at this. Look what he did with the cue ball, Danny. Wow. Look what he did with the cue ball. Now that's a pull shot. I think Alex has to shoot at the three. The three goes. Unless he can shoot the three into the rail before the one and follow the cue ball in back of the seven. If he has the angle to do that. I don't think he has the angle to do that, no, though. he would have to foul to do that. He yeah. would have to push. Well, well no, no. If he could do it without pushing. If he, But I don't think he has the angle because he has to cut the three ball to his left, and then he'll lose the cue ball. Yeah. Tricky shot, Billy. He's not even going to try to do anything extra. There's a two in the... Does they tie up? Wow. That would be good. Wow, that was a that was what he needed to happen have happened. Yeah, and it but happened. I don't think he tied it up. Yeah, really. he tied it up. He tied it up, trust me. He tied it up at least enough where Fyan is not gonna shoot it. He Fyan will definitely not shoot the three ball now. Well, I like kicking two rails at the eight. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot at all. As long as he hits it thin, he yep. can do some damage. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good shot. A little little difficult in, in the execution, but he's got a pretty big target there. You know? If he can just hit it on the side, cue ball will go, and go back up table. I kind of like your shot. Well, he's not doing that, Billy. Well, I, I don't see anything wrong with this shot. He's going to come off. He may make make the seven ball here. Might That's lose another foul. Yep. And I do believe he's left the cross corner here. Yeah, he did. I liked the two rail kick on the eight. He never looked at it. But he hit that too thinly, Danny. He's sure supposed did. to hit that thicker. He's supposed to come off the nine ball there and go to the side rail back of the eight. That was the shot. It was there. Well, you can get punished right now if Alex makes this bank. Yeah, it's going to be close. He's going to play six ball, Billy. He made yeah, it. It's close. It's in. And, uh, and does the twelve go? I uh, don't know. I th oh, I think the twelve goes. Well, if it does, then he can go to the eight next. I mean, it's close. He might be able to go to the two next. Yeah, if he has a little angle and a full pocket, he could. Yeah, he's going to the two, Billy. Yeah, it didn't pass. It didn't go. Didn't pass. It didn't pass. Fine is fortunate, but Fine butchered that shot. He hit it badly. He had a really a legitimate shot there, as you had a legitimate shot with two railing on the eight. But I think his shot, he 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 could have won the game with, or at least got himself a lot of balls off of it if he would hit it decently. He's looking at the carom. Seven off the uh, four ball. Into the 14 ball, I yeah, believe that's it is. No good. It's such a <laughs> circus kind of a looking shot. You know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, there's uh, too many things going on with this shot. He's got to control just too many things. This is really not advisable. Don't care what happens. Oh, he didn't do it. He went with another shot, which isn't that great anyways, because like before, the three is a stiff shot. It's 
the bagging line can go up table. And he could even bank the 14. Yep, he can bank the 14. Or that might be the 15. This is the 15. 15. That's the yeah, even ball near the side know, rail. He can do a lot of damage. Get the cue ball up in that far corner. Cutting this 15. I mean, if you don't bank it, you, you're liable to do something good off of the 14. Right, right. But he's not doing that. No, he thinks he can drop underneath the three here. I don't like that shot. I like your shot. Yeah. If he's confident that the three doesn't pass, he's going to go up here and take a look at another look at it now. Well, a little while ago it didn't go. Yeah, but the angle that he had a little while ago was a bad angle because he could only get the one ball, even if it did go. Well, he's not banking the ball, but he did that. You know, it would have been the same shot if he banked it. Better control that way, but Oh, he, yeah, I like what he did there, Danny. Yeah, it's a good shot. Yeah, because I think that controlling the cue ball was uh, actually the the part of the shot that was really the, the, the most part. important, yeah. Controlling that cue ball. You know, and, and maybe the 14 ball is better off where it is now than it would be if it was in the pocket. In the pocket, he could just roll it in and stop, stop there. But now, he has to be real careful shooting long distance nearly off the cushion with the cue ball and control the cue ball and the ball that he hits. So, you know, he's got a lot of work cut out right for him right here. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could sell out. Right. So he's got to be real careful here. And coming off that stripe that's in front of the pocket has Kiss written all over it. Oh, he got an extra hit, but he sold out. Yeah, so so uh, Paggy Lyon really used good judgment in putting that cue ball on that cushion, leaving distance and on a cushion. And those are two allies that uh, will always be in the shooter's favor. If you can leave your opponent distance or on or near a cushion, you've done part of the job. Well, could he fall on the 15 and 4? That's what he'd like to do. Yeah, he's going to have to, like, uh, suck it deep in that corner and go two cushions. I think the five even goes. He took a look to see if the seven goes. If it doesn't, he's going to have to... Well, he's going to go into the 12 here. Nope. Oh, wow, look at that nice, control. Beautiful. Nice. Now, that was beautifully beautifully yeah, executed. You know, if he hit anything down there, it would have been over. But he got on the balls, and like I said, the five even goes. See the five? Yeah. That's going to open the balls up. Yeah, he needs to open those balls up. Yeah, I'll get two of them and then fall on the five and open them up. Oh, he got the angle to do that, Billy. Yeah, it's better off going into the balls from this angle... That way you're going away from the eight ball, favoring position. I think he's too thin on it. He may have to come back for the five. Oh, yeah, he's going to the five. Definitely going to the five. Like to have an angle, too. I, I think he blew the angle. Well, I'll tell you this. The uh, seven ball banks, Billy. And that's an excellent point that you brought up there. If you're afraid that you can't attain the angle for uh, the combination, or you can always just go down table and and bank a ball cross corner. That'll also open up the balls. So yeah. therefore, he has that option as well. And the one ball goes as well, Danny. Oh, that's the nine. Or the nine. Yeah, everything will open here. No, he went to the two, Billy. But no, he didn't played, get no, there. he played for the combination. Oh, that's not a great combination. But it's okay. I well, mean, he can go to okay. the seven now. He would have liked to have gotten down the table a little further, which way he would have been able to then to draw the cue ball more comfortably for position well, for the now seven. now he can go one rail to the seven, just make the ball. Yeah, he did it. Now he can go to the five. Right. I think Alex can get out. If he gets on the five where he can knock that ten away... And uh, he's going to run some some serious balls here. 
You know, he might get all the way out. He needs five. He owed three. I know, but right now he needs five. Excellent yeah. speed. That is Perfect. excellent speed. Perfect. He might get all the way out. Yeah, Billy. no, he's going to knock that one dot, one ball down on this shot. Oh, he should have hit a little harder than that. Oh, he's all right. Is he okay? I think I, so. Yeah, okay, okay. He's fine. I mean, he he's okay. He's going to go away from the one. He's going to have a pretty tough shot, his next shot. Unless he plays around the table here for the one. I think he's going to shoot the one. I think he's, he's got to play around the table here, sending the cue ball toward the other side. Unless he... Eleven goes too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, if you, yeah, that's why I like playing around the table in that shot, because then you could have got, fell on the eleven well, or closer to the one. He needs two right now. Now he's going to draw into the ten here. He's got to be careful he doesn't scratch. Or maybe not. Let's see what he does. Oh, that's not going to... Oh, he missed the ball. Yep. Uh-oh. It's an old... Well, Peg... Uh, Bayern needs 12. <laughs> Bayern needs 12. How many are on the table here? Not 12. <laughs> <laughs> in... in, in uh, Let me see. Six, in Denmark, seven, it's northeast eight, of... Uh, nine balls. So, so Paget Line needs two. Yeah. This opening shot is like a gimme, you know. So he's got to be play a good cue ball here. And I don't, I think, I don't think he can go into this part of balls here. I think he can go into this part of balls off the seven. I don't know if he can go into those balls now. Okay, but he did. He's kind of okay because he didn't hit the side of the ball. Well, he can go to the seven now off the two. Yep. He would like to end up with a shot on the three. Let's see uh, what he does here. He's going, he's going to the seven. But he would like to end up with a shot on the three. Well, he got over if he the could top. shoot could the he, three, yeah. if he could shoot the three, that would be a real yeah. good shot. He can go right to the fifteen if, yeah. if he shoots the three. And even if he doesn't have the speed to go to the fifteen, he can then play for the seven too. So therefore, well, he can draw the ball. He's fine. Yeah, he'll get a little better angle on the three now. Yeah, well, he got a pretty good angle. <laughs> now he's got a little bit of a problem, Danny. Yeah. Well, he can go two rails to the one and nine. Well, uh, it's tough to go two rails from here. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. He got too thin on the three. Right, he got too thin on the three. Now he's going to have to go one rail, and it's going to be hit very softly, very softly. Good hit. Yeah. Well, he's okay. He's got the angle to send the one. I think he's got the angle that's not a scratch angle, but I could be wrong. No, he's got the angle to go one rail now to the nine. It's pretty close. I think you're right. I think he's going to come pretty close to that pocket with the cue ball here. Let's see how he feels about it. He's going underneath the cue ball, is he? No. Nope. Yeah, he, no. he the pocket's no factor, Billy. And he did very well. Oh, did he? No. Did he? <laughs> no, the twelve is snookered now. He's got Dan, the one. I don't even know if he has the one. I think he's got the one. I don't know if he has the one. Yeah, he's got the one. I don't know if he has the one. It's close. Very close. 
Well, he's got one good ball in this score, so we're going to see some balls spotted. Well, this isn't a bargain anyways, even if he does have the one. Yeah, he's, he's shooting that one ball. Yeah. And the cue ball is going towards that corner pocket, by the way. Not the way he's cueing it. Yeah, it is. Oh, he hit it low and missed the ball. Where are you going, one? Well, he didn't sell out, Billy. He left the bank. He's left the bank. Yeah, well, I do believe. Well, the balls on the spot are going to be a bank. You know, he'll have a bank for sure. The ten banks. Yeah, he can play position for another bank after that one. Yeah. I believe. He could. He needs three, Billy. Unless that 9-1 is dead. Maybe the 9-1's dead. No, it's wide. I don't know. We'll take a look at it. It's wide, Billy. It might be able to throw, but I don't Maybe. think that much. Maybe. He sure looks like he's going to shoot it. Or maybe he's going to stick the cue ball on it. Yeah, it's wide. Oh, the cue ball got away from him. He really didn't hit it like he wanted to. But he's playing for one ball. Bayern needs all the balls on the table. Fine opened up the match, winning the first game. Pag and Lyon then won the second game. And he's in danger of winning the third game. Yep. And breaking the balls. What's this going to be? That's he left the uh, nine. Yeah, that, 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 that wasn't the right shot. If anything, you just take a scratch there. Or finishing, you hit the I mean? nine fuller so just it take doesn't... A scratch. Be... Well, you, you yeah, just take yeah. a scratch there, you know? Because you're going to give up some sort of a shot. He so, did. So, so just take a scratch there because what the heck? So you need an extra ball? So instead of needing seven, you need eight? If he made it, it was off the one, but he didn't. Oh, left the bank. He made sure he, he made sure he didn't scratch. Cutting the side. He left the bank. But Bayern might not want to shoot at one ball. No, I don't believe him. Yeah, he needs seven. They're all on the table. He wants to shoot. Well, he thinks he'll go underneath the one and kick it out. I don't know about that. He better make it. He did. Good shot. Good thing he made it because he sold out. Well, he's going to just have to spin around the stack there and bring the cue ball up to the corner where he's standing now. That would be a good shot. But he really doesn't want to get much movement. No, he's really going around first. I don't know about this. I, like, I want the cue ball up table, not, not down table. Uh, and now he put that ball out of play. He needs all the balls. He's got to keep balls down table. So therefore, if he had an option to go up table and keep the extra ball down table, he should have exercised that. He should have done that. Yeah. So all he's doing is playing the way Peggy Lyon wants to play. Peggy Lyon left him a bank on the three. He's got to take it. It's close, Billy. Oh, he's got to take this shot. He's got to take this shot. 
He's going to come with a couple good shots to get back in this game. This is one of them. And 11 was in the way. He doesn't want to hit this with speed. He wants to make sure he doesn't leave a return bank on that two. That's a good shot. So now if he banks that two, he runs the risk of losing the cue ball. So he can't bank the two. That's why I had to hit it softly. And what, most importantly, keep that cue ball close to a cushion. So now Fine really doesn't have much at all. Really don't have much other than to knock that two against that side rail. Go down table. Something that's very simple. Doesn't run a risk of, oh, he's going, I don't like coming off any other ball. Just knock that two on the side rail. And that's it. I think that's what he's going to end up doing. Why open up those balls? You don't need to. Just knock that two to the side rail. That's right. He's got it. He, he's looking to shoot the two, which is wrong. This is the correct shot. Just knock the two to the side rail. Go down table. Yeah, he'll get a better shot now. Yep, yeah, he's exactly. going to get a better shot. Yeah. But you need one ball. You don't want to open up balls. You want to just keep grinding and grinding and grinding. And eventually, you'll see something you like. That's free. And then you'll win the game. This is the guy that needs to do something. He looked for an instant. He looked at this with an overhead. An overhead. He looked at trying to play the one ball off the 12 ball. Sending the 12 ball, maybe three cushions as well. He looked at that for an instant. I don't know if he's going to shoot it, but that's what he looked at. Nope, he said, I'm going to just put uh, that ball in play. Now, do you shoot this shot of your pagan line, Danny? No. Even as good as he hits balls? Yeah. What, what if you hit it bad and scratch? You know, it's right. not pre. But you can bet he's very tempted right now. Of course he is. He wants to get the game over with. But I think I'd agree with you. I don't think I'd shoot it. No, he's not going to. The only way he could lose shooting that. Good shot. Get more balls out of play. Look what he did with the cue ball. Once again, he walks away from the table. Once again, Fian has nothing to shoot at. This could get very frustrating. But of course, that's exactly the way Pagaline wants it to be. Very frustrating for his opponent. To where he'll shoot something that's very low cool. percentage. Yeah, well. Who said that he was a nice guy at the table? <laughs> He's a nice guy off the table, but don't think he's a nice guy at the table. Because if you do, <laughs> you're going to, what do you say? Sleep in the street. Right. <laughs> no doubt about it. Sleep in the street. I kind of like banking this 11 ball to fly inside of the table. I wouldn't try to leave him a two-rail bank off the 11 ball and, hit, and try to keep it on your side of the table. I like banking the 11 ball to fly inside of the table. That way, you don't leave a two-rail a two rail bank. Bank at the fly inside of the table. He's shooting straight on, knocking, knocking it out of play on his side. That's a possible bank for him. But it won't be free. 
Well, you put it in a pretty good spot, but what you don't want to do is come off the 11 ball and leave a two rail bank. A lot of players do that, you know, and they don't realize that they're actually feeding into their opponent. You don't want to move the two ball, that opens up the banking lane. You want to keep that two ball there. Well, the two ball banks itself. Yeah, well, I, I'd rather not, yes, but you've got to be perfect on the two ball. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, you can move the two ball, but I wouldn't want to move it. But if he feels that's his only resort, then you got to move it. He's looking around. He's trying not to move the two ball. See, he's looking around now to see if he does move the two ball, where a good spot to put the cue ball would be. Now he's going to move the two ball. This will open up the door a little bit for Fyan in later innings. Now if he kept the two ball and congested things a little bit. Yeah, Fyan doesn't have anything to shoot at. No. Unless he wants to kick the 7-2. Uh, well, he can bank the 11 softly in toward the, toward the 6 ball and use that 10 ball to snooker the 3 ball. And that seems to be something that's available. But you don't want to bank the 11 ball at your pocket. You just want to just roll up on it. Just roll up on it. That's a good shot. You don't want to... That's a good shot. That's a good shot. It looks like he may come off the 11 here. Create some congestion. But he's got to be careful not to leave a bank on the green ball. Uh, he, he knows that green ball is there. If he happens to hit that 11 into the 2, he opens up that path that bank so he's got to be real careful here so he says well you know what I'm not going to fool with that I'm going to put the 10 against the rail or the 12 or whatever the ball that is yeah they're pretty well congested here Billy yep they are getting real bad it's starting to look ugly well it is ugly but it's starting to look uglier for Fian. he's going to have to figure out some way to loosen those balls up. Well, I think what he's got to do, he's got to, I think he's got to go off the left side of the three and come back down table with the cue ball. I think he's run out of options here. No, he's forcing this. This is not real good. This is not good. That's not good. Oh, boy. Now he's at the bank on the three. You know, it's a funny angle. It's it's a kind of a shot that you want to shoot, but it does carry a little bit of a penalty, particularly now if that 212 is lined up. They if the 212 is lined up, now back in that three may not be the right shot. I come off the 11 now. Yeah, you know, come, come off the eleven. Uh, he's yeah. not doing it. He's going he's to leave a bank on the two here. Well, he didn't leave a bank on the two. He came off the, another ball. Fines are. Fine should walk down the table and take a look to see if he pocketed that one and stuck the ball right there, what he would give up. I don't think anything goes if he sticks the ball right there and pockets the one. I think that's he should go down the table and take a look at that.
See, now he's playing at the peg and line by doing yeah, this. Yeah, but he might have made this ball, Billy. Okay, but what I'm he saying did. is... But what I'm saying is he's playing right oh, into the peg. Oh, look at that, boy. You really don't want to go after one ball. You don't want to battle one yeah, ball for one ball. Yeah, but he has a dead one, too, maybe. The combination might be on. Yeah, not well, for where he is? Nah. No, if he made the three, he would have had that. Well, it's getting the ball out of play. Pine needs all six balls. You know, he's looking at the combination now, but I don't know how he's going to hit it. He's not. Unless he's going to bank the 11 into it, and that's really a stretch right there. Yeah, he's got to, you know, patiently. You know, he's got to cut the three, back across table, bring the cue ball back down. Yeah, that's what he's doing. But no, he isn't. Well, that's not, he's going to lose now. He's sold out. Peggy yep. Lyon's got the three. Peggy Lyon's going to say, it's time to go. Oh, definitely. It's time to go. He's going to go into the two with the cue ball. It's time to go. Yeah, he doesn't care what else happens. He's shooting this. And he made it. No, he didn't. Look at that ball. He sold out, too, Billy. And he didn't break up the 212. Everything goes oh, in Fyan's pocket. Very, very interesting. Now, the angle that Fyan has now, he can pocket the 11 with, with, you know, with inside English, go down table for the bank on the three. You know, it's marginal whether he can hit it well enough to get good shape on the three. I think he can, but it's not easy. He's got to go forward. He can't go back. He would like to go back and draw it for the combination. I don't think the angle's there for that shot. That, yeah, he's going to probably have to play the cross on the three. Most importantly, though, he knows you have to pocket the 11. And with a little inside English, you know, you're uh, actually making the shot play a little more difficult. He made it. Okay, now it's there. He can bank the three with inside English. Inside English. I think he can get away from the kiss. I don't know. It's a pretty tough angle, at least from our vantage point in on I a monitor. Could. I think he can go forward with right hand English and get positioned for that combination if it's dead. Right. And but, I think that it, it's it's very makeable. Yeah, he can go forward. And he's close enough to the three to get a good accurate hit. Well, yep. you were right, he's kissed. He didn't get down far enough. See, if you put a little more English on the cue ball, of course you take a little uh, a little accuracy away from the shot, but you put yourself in pretty good line to run out, or at least get back in the, in the game. Well, is he going to kick at the combination? You know, I don't think he should because I don't think he, should, he can get any balls. He can get one. Yeah. I think he's, he's just got to suck it up and uh, get back on the grind. Yeah, maybe roll in the one here. Roll in the one. Nope. No, he's at the free bank. You're right. He's at the, uh, just about a free bank. It is. He'll hit this good. He's going to go into the two with the cue ball. He hit it good. He hit it good, but not good enough. This is a type of a takeout you got to hit from the bottom cushion. You hit a bottom cushion first and then kick the 12 on your side. Cue ball takes the place of the 12.
I don't understand why he's looking at the balls down there. Right. Just don't understand that. Nothing he could have done with those. No. (laughs) Because he he can't possibly foresee what's going to happen even the next shot or two shots later because those balls down there are... (laughs) They're really tied up. It's like really a moot point with those balls down there. Forget about those, but worry about the shot at hand. Cue ball to the center diamond, this end of the table. Yeah, it's going to be a while before before <laughs> Fine gets a shot at his pocket. Well, now Fine's strategy should be to create the wedge, the old famous Nick Varner wedge. <laughs> well, he has to. Once you create the wedge, then you could start p- pocketing balls and accumulating balls on the foot spot. That's his strategy, or at least it should be. And, I'm, you know, unfortunately, Pag and Lion is going to accommodate him. But unfortunately, Fian needs to get all the balls on the table. And uh, in order to get them in play, I think you're going to have to try to get them on the foot spot. If you can pocket a ball and snooker him, back in line, from hitting that ball that you pocket on the foot spot, then the next time you go back to the table, pocket another ball and put that one in the back of the ball on the Fian foot spot. has a bank on the three right now. Okay, that's worth shooting if he has it. He has it. He's going to have to get them one by one. Type of a shot you have a problem reaching. It's, you know, he can reach and get an angle on it, but maybe not the right angle. Now watch the cue ball. It's going to go into the stripe. Missed it. Yep. Alex has a bank at the three. Yeah, he's got to take it. Yep. Because he has the luxury of the pocket being plugged up on top of the cue ball. Yeah. Missing it, your opponent's not going to get four or any. Oh, I don't like the way he played that bank. Well, it went in, Billy. <laughs> oh, he made it. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about, I like the way he played the cue ball. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's game number three. Pagulayan, after losing the first game of the match, comes back and wins two consecutive games. Now he leads two to one with his break coming up, Danny. Well, he's on the hill now. Comes with a good break. He's got a good chance to win the match. Yeah, he needs to come with a, he needs to come with a good break. Good break. That's a good break. Yes, it is. I think so too. Well, he's got enough balls that are a threat. Good break. letting from here. Your three rail kick off the break is uh, looks like it's not available. The one ball uh, is actually in the path of the cue ball. 
Well, he has a pretty aggressive shot if he wants to shoot it. Bank the nine at the 12 and goes three rails. Yeah, if, if it, it might be there. I think it, it is. It may go a little long, though. Let's we'll see what happens. He shot, he shot it. it. Look he where the kill going. He shot it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, he hit it good, too. He sure did. He was unfortunate in, to, uh, to have gotten got that unlucky way. ball, uh, uh, that unlucky kiss there. And that ball had to come back from nowhere. Well, he's uh, going to get a lot of balls here. Yeah, he's going to get more, more than he needs. Yeah. But he made a good shot, and that was a great call, and he absolutely made it happen had the three, eight ball not showed up. Yeah, he was going perfect. Yeah, the five even goes near the spot there. That goes in the pocket. Get rid of all the balls in front of that. Yeah, and, and I think the... Uh, Seven's a combination, too, after he gets yeah, through the... Uh, yeah. Or the six. That's the six. Fourteen, yeah. six. Get all the balls out of the way, and you're going to get right out. And it's not going to be tough to get all the balls out of the way. Maybe you go across table now and play for the five. Yeah, go to the... You know, to Maybe. The, I don't know. I... I, I well, go, try to go, like, to the 12. You might get to the 5. Yeah. He's got the angle. Went to the 12. He huh? did. Now he's going to He gets that uh, 7 out of the way. I think uh, the 14-6 is a dead combination. He's out. He, 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 oh, you know what? He can get 10 if he needed them. Is he going to try to bump the one here? Why bump anything? I, I'm just asking. Uh, maybe. No, I know. I'm talking to myself. Yeah, he didn't need to do that, but it, it turned out all right. And too many balls go. I, I, I get the balls open. Get all the balls that pass. He didn't have to do that. That might have stunted him because it looks like he might have got straight in. No, he thought he... Oh, he's got an no, angle? No, he got a big angle. Oh, well, then he's fine. Two, four, seven, ten, eleven. He's got four. He's playing for four. I see three. I see the nine, five, and seven. Of course, the eleven's up there, and the one is bankable, but you got to get pretty good on it to do that. I don't think you got to even worry about that bank. Now he's saying to himself, maybe I could play for a combination. Or maybe I can go into the stack here. No, why do that? You got right. dead combinations. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, maybe get he, on the five right now. No, get it the four. The seven, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. got it. No. Now he can go to the five. Yeah, or a combination. Yeah, he's out no matter what. He can do it a lot of ways, but he's out. You got the angle to get on the combination. There's two combinations. One of them's dead for sure. I get on the hill first. Play the five. Yo, that's on the hill. Get on the hill. Then if you want to shoot the combination, go ahead and shoot it. Yeah, they're they're all dead. Only oh, play for the eleven. Yeah, he maybe uh -oh, the combinations uh -oh, aren't. Uh -oh. it. He should have played for the combination. I Let's get so. an angle, if we can, on the combination. No, another angle in back of the 11. Can we get in back of the 11? Can we get that angle to see if that combination? Yeah, that's the angle. It looks like that one of those two combinations yeah. were very makeable, you know? Yeah. And I don't know why he was so reluctant here, but oh, now he's going to... Nah, I don't he's know. He's laughing, but he doesn't feel like it. He may end up shooting the one away. What a Not cowardly! A good idea. What a cowardly smart shot that is. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do it. You know, I know he's losing a little dignity shooting this, but you know what? Eh, you're gonna win. That's a pretty fair trade-off, huh? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Needs all the balls again.
now Fyne Fy wanted him to shoot the 11 or were those combinations off angle. Yeah, that was but, the only chance he had. Yeah, Paggy Lyon was too smart for that. And it took a lot for Paggy Lyon to knock that one away, you know, because he really wanted to get out. And it doesn't make him any less of a player kicking that one away. Matter of fact, in my opinion, it made him a more solid of a player. In other words, because he did that, you would bet on him sometime. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see him try to cut something in and have a guy run seven out of him, seven or eight balls on him. <laughs> then, then I would say, well, I think I'll bet on this guy. <laughs> Fine, just broke up the combinations. They're all going to be upstream now. And he's going to stick them right there. Boop. See, see what he can shoot from here when it's sticking right there. See, see what he can shoot from there. <laughs> you're cruel, Billy. You're cruel. This is a fellow pool player you're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine is... If I must, oh my! Yeah, I don't think he's feeling real good about this. He looked at this picture. He, he looked at this eight. last rack. He, he he needs eight. Look where the balls are. He wants to put them in the back of the fourteen at the other end of the table. Yeah, good luck. Well, that's what he wants to do. Yeah. But I think he'll get too much moving from the seven ball. He said, I'm going to put you in back of that 14. Yeah, he did it, but... He said, put him back of that 14. <laughs> he couldn't have been worried about leaving the combination. Yeah, I don't think he was... Uh, well, he looked like he too was. overly concerned about that. But I guess it was possible. But he wanted to stick him to that 14. I think Pack and Line should come off the one and drop him on that rail. Open up that. Open up that. Uh, uh, I agree with that, you. That, those two balls over there. I think I would just drop them off that one. Shoot that one. You know, in between the rail and the eleven, and then drop them to that bottom rail. Yeah, that's the right shot. So that way that he can't put you back there again. You don't like it there, so open up the one now. Oh, well, he's not going to agree with me. So he wants to put the cue ball in back of the four. He doesn't want to leave that free bank on the three. Don't want to leave that free bank on the three. Did he get far enough over? I yes. think he did. Yes, he did. Uh huh. And that's not fair either. A dirty shot. Right. Bank. Yeah, this man came all the way from the Netherlands. You gotta treat him right. Yeah, and that's actually northeast of uh, of Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> okay. Good, good, yeah. Okay. Okay. You might as well kick it to fourteen now. What the heck? You did it. <laughs> What's the difference? You know, kick it to fourteen. Or can you hit it straight on? Or hit it straight on? He sold it out. The ball goes, Billy. If it goes, it's, it's going to go in that direction. Yeah, it goes. If it goes, it's going in that direction. Well, it goes, Billy. He's shooting at it. I don't it. think it goes because he's giving you that smirk like, yeah. oh, he got lucky it doesn't go. At least that's the, the facial expression that I am I, I'm, I, I'm I think getting. it goes, Billy, but he might want to not let the, you know, he wants to last a little longer here. He likes center ring, and he wants to last longer in front of the crowd. He don't want to shoot this. It goes. I don't know what it, what the problem is. It must not go. That's the problem. But from here, it looks like it passes, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Well, what's, what's with the theatrics here? If it goes, just get down and shoot it. Ah, okay. I mean, are you that careful? Believe we'll I'm back on the three. He's going to shoot it. 
He's going to shoot the three. Well, that one might go in. Not quite. No, he can, he can bank the ten. This goes. Yeah, and he has balls on the spot that go. He's right. You know, you can bank that ten, I pal. think he can miss the kiss. I'm not sure, though. There's no kiss. So, so You know, from Marv Vanny's point, these angles aren't really like they appear. You know? There's no kiss, I mean, really. I mean, there has to be close to a kiss. I mean, for you so to say, say that with confidence. It's, so what if it's close to a kiss? Let's just say that the score suggests that you bank it. Well, it sure suggests that he does. He'll get his position if he makes it. It'll be a pretty shot. Well, he's shooting it. No, he isn't. <laughs> Maybe he likes to torture. <laughs> well, he has passed. I watched him all night. He's passed up shots like that, so they might not be in his repertoire. He might think all of them are a kiss. I think he had a bank at that. Now they're going to be further away. Now it's going to be tougher to get aid. <laughs> Peg Lyons, not too uh, hospitable. Well... I think he got to come off to three here in some way. I just got to gamble here. Maybe it's not even makeable, but he did fat. Just get the three down table. You're right. It looks like the cue ball is going to go out of play back to that combination. Well, he's going to maybe pocket the 14. I don't know. Huh? Well, it doesn't go again. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> he's looking. He's looking at it again. He's grinning. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bank the four and double him up. If the 13 10, if the 13 doesn't go, the 10's there. He's going to play a good cue ball here. He's going to probably back it into the 6. Meanwhile, he's getting balls more in play for uh, Pine. Well, fine. Yeah. Well, he's got a shot on the, on the 14. He Time needs a ball. Shoot. He needs a ball. And uh, it's starting to look pretty pretty bad. The four balls position pretty close to the pack line's pocket. You can't hit it and get it out of there. Shoot it and play position. I think you're right. No, he didn't make it. Well, I guess he's got to bank that ball. But I think he's got to bank it. Yeah, the 14. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. I mean, he's been playing pretty tight. Maybe not, because he could scratch one rail at the other end if he banks it. Maybe he should just two rail it out of there, send the cue ball down to the bottom cushion. That seems to be the no, way he's, he's been playing at it. it. Billy. He's banking at it. And making it. Well, surprise, surprise. Peg Lion winning a one pocket tournament. Well, maybe not. Best one pocket player in the world, Danny. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you've been a fan or a supporter of his for quite a few years now. Yeah. I think he's great for the game. Yeah. You know, he's colorful. He can play all games, and he's very knowledgeable. You wouldn't think it when you first saw him. And he is repeat champion of the one pocket tournament at Derby City. Danny's been a pleasure, like uh, you, like always. Yes, and it has. now uh, it's it's back to the nine ball, you know. But you know we love one pocket. 
but it's all over. Pag and Lion, the winner. We're out of here.